Today we're going to be talking about one of the best ways to play coverage defense in Madden 24. It's going to be coming out of the nickel 3-3 cub formation. Now, if you are in the Patreon, you know that the 3-3 cub, I believe, is one of the most versatile defenses in the entire game. And I got a full defensive ebook on that in the Patreon. If you're not a member yet, uh, join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks. I guarantee it's going to make you better at Madden. You get everything. You get all ebooks, all updates, every single thing uh, that we've produced. We've got over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks this year. Um, so really encourage you to check out the Patreon if you guys want to take your Madden game uh, to the next level. But what we're talking about today is a really good little coverage defensive concept out of the 3-3 Cub. And what you're going to do for this is we're going to go into our coaching adjustments here. And essentially, everything's going to be standard. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn our zone coverage on to match. And then, really importantly, we're going to put our curl flats on five. That's pretty much it. Um, and then situationally, we might put our uh, hooks on five and our flats on 25 to play some double Babel. But really what I like to do is just try to leave this both these two on default and just have my curl flats on five or even zero uh, for that matter. Now the audible we're going to set is the cover four show two, And there's some critical things about this uh, audible. We want to make sure that in the nickel three, three, when we come out, our best coverage players have, are at the safety position. And ideally they have the deep end zone knockout ability. Ed Reed and Richard Sherman both get that. Okay. Uh, so we're going to be audibly into this cover four show too. Now, the only other thing I want to say about this defense real quick is you can run this base aligned and you can run it unbased aligned. I'll show you the difference. So um, if I base aligned, so, or uh, this is unbase aligned, okay? What you're going to see here is if I try to throw a corner route with my bunch to the wide side, this corner route is going to get guarded by that outside quarter zone. As you can see over there, it plays it really, really, really well. Now, if I put my bunch to the short side, however, um, it's going to change the grid that the game is based on. And I think cover four um, is really making an argument for the best covered shell in the entire game right now because of how good this is. Uh, but anyways, let me show you real quick. So what you're going to see is when he's inside like this, you see that this is a very easier, a, a much easier throw to the sideline. So uh, with zone, the way it plays this year, it really makes a lot of sense. Um, for zone coverage this year to be essentially slightly outside of the players and they will play a little bit better um, in terms of defending the sidelines. So you just want to try to keep them as to the sideline as you can. So you see here, now that he's to the sideline, he breaks on that a little bit better, okay? So for the purposes of, for our purposes today, I'm going to go ahead and suggest that you leave him as a base align um, for, for what we're doing here, okay? Now, uh, we're also going to be talking through some different, you know, coverage adjustments out of this. But the, as a basic shell, we're going to audible to cover for show two, and we're going to pinch our defense. What you're going to see here is now we have a really nice uh, defensive alignment that is going to help us stop formations such as bunch, tight, bunch, tight end, really any kind of compression set. This is going to do a really, really, really good job because it creates brackets and zone coverage. Now... The last uh, big piece of this coverage defense that I want you to see is the amount of versatility we have uh, with either this blitzing linebacker or this slot corner. What's cool about this blitzing linebacker is you can literally man him up on anybody on the field. And for this, we're going to be manning him up on the slot receiver. When you man this guy up on the slot receiver, specifically in bunch, that is the problem receiver of the formation. That is the receiver that is going to be running uh, corner routes, right? So we're going to basically man him up there. And what you're going to see is now that he's manned up, they're going to throw this right into coverage. It makes that a really hard throw uh, to consistently live with, right? Now, another really cool thought, uh, part about the cover four defense in general is when you're playing like a bunch set, Notice that there's really nobody that's going to attack the seam area of the field on the left-hand side. So what I like to do with this as well is we could man this tight end up on the, or the linebacker up on the tight end to take away the verticals uh, wheel. And then we could take this slot or this uh, safety and we could uh, cross man him on the slot receiver. So you'll see here, it's not sure some reason I can't put him in main coverage. If you unbase align, you can probably. No? Oh, okay. 
Well, that's not cool. Um, okay. Well, man this guy up on the slot. And then uh, what you can do on the back end of this is we can man this other linebacker up. We can cross man him on anybody. So you see here, we can cross man this linebacker onto that receiver. And then on the left side, we can basically play cover two. The reason why I like to do this is because that hard flat will stop any kind of drags. And uh, this is also why I don't like to set my light blues, put any adjustments on them. So now let's say they run like a verticals play. Your primary responsibility here is going to be to use her this crossing route. But as you can see, it's manned up. And so he'll take that away a lot of times. The beauty of cover four is what we can do from a man up perspective. We can man up different problems and we can really, uh, really take advantage of the fact that we're in a cover four shell. So let's say we're, let's say we're playing, we're playing somebody and they're running tight. So if they're running tight here, we really like these, these quarter zones, right? So what we're going to do off of this is who's the problem in tight well, in tight slots, it is the slot receiver. So we're just going to man up this linebacker on the slot receiver. So you see here, we're going to man him up on the line right there. If it ever gives you any problems, just try base aligning, um, like unbase aligning and then rebase aligning, and normally it will fix it. But what you're going to see is when that guy is manned up, he's going to get a press this year. He didn't get a press last year, I don't think. And you're going to be able to take away that, that play flood, which is super popular and super effective. So just by using these basic ma basic man ups out of cover four, uh, it can really make a big difference. Now, another really cool thing that we can kind of pair uh, that we can kind of pair with this is what we can do um, what we can do off of this in terms of like tight. So uh, we have these quarter zones; they're really really good. Uh, these inside quarters are really really good. But if you think it through for just a second, you're going to know that uh, I love to turn this into a cover six. So what we're going to do on the right side here is we're going to put that defender into a uh, soft squat. We're going to put the safety into a deep half, and we're going to put the linebacker in a vertical hook. This right here, this coverage, very effective uh, because we now give ourselves some underneath protection if they're going to run, you know, just different kind of meshing concepts. I think the quarter zones are the best zone in the, like the inside quarters and the deep halves this year, they are really good at protecting against bombs. So it's really hard to bomb this kind of coverage. And uh, it, it really is one of my favorite ways to play coverage defense. And, and, and if you want to, um, you can, you know, do something like this. But the beauty of base aligning out is that now our zones are more to the sidelines. So they're already where we want them to be. And then you can literally just make adjustments out of this shell right here. I mean, this is a really good coverage defense. Let's say they run a concept like this. It's one of the best concepts this year out of mesh spot. What you're going to see is we have this drag manned up. So we're going to let that go. We're going to go back to that post. And you see that vertical hook is there for the running back. Stuff like that. It, it takes away a lot of stuff uh, that people like to do, you know, this year. And again, you can use, if you want to, you can take this, uh, this blitzing linebacker, you can put him in a vertical hook. And then you can just play this basic coverage and say, you know, beat me. Um, another thing I like to do specifically, again, if it's tight, I love to put an outside third on the wide side of the field because that will pretty much bomb proof this coverage shell. And then the other thing that I like to do is we can utilize cross man with these safeties as well uh, with the linebackers and the safeties. So, for example, if, you know, we, we're expecting maybe post wheel drag, for example, you know, we're going to cross man, you know, we can we can uh, cross man the safety. And my cross mans are just being weird right now. I practice most kind of weird, but we can cross man this guy over here. OK, and then what you can do on this right side uh, is basically you're going to use her the seam area of the field to the right. Or you could put this outside defender in a deep half and these deep halves this year really pinch inward. So if they're, even if they're running a concept like this, um, obviously you're going to work your user back into the seam area. You know, but you see you get a little reroute on that press, that cross man is there, and uh, it's a great way to defend tight sets. There's a lot of adjusting um, and a lot of like really cool adjusting you can do out of these cover four shells. But the cover four shells very quickly becoming um, either cover four or cover two this year, really effective um, in terms of as a base covered shell. And I want to show you one last thing that you can do with this against like a trips formation. So against a trips formation, 
we can actually apply this uh, matching principle where we can go into cover two and we're still going to play a cover four. So we're going to quarter that left side defender. We're going to man up this safety onto the middle trips receiver. And then we're going to have a quarter over here that is going to take away that inside trips receiver. From there, I like to cross man the tight end. And then pretty much this is a decent uh, coverage shell that you can have. And you can go with a soft squat over here as well if you wanted to uh, do that. But anyways, this, this idea here, this is a really good little hybrid coverage defense for trips. And it's going to do a good job of really taking away pretty much anything they want to do. Uh, because we're going to really key in on that inside trips receiver with the quarter man quarter adjustment uh, that has been really good. And, and for that, you don't want to have any zone drops set. Now, if I was playing trips and I had the zone drops, let's say they come out in bunch and they audible to trips. Uh, one of the things we can also apply here to to any kind of trips formation, you're going to notice. So when we when we audible down. Um, Again, I think cross meaning is so good. But we can basically cross apply the principle of this that essentially what's going to happen against a trips uh, formation is they have that tight end that is kind of nub. It's like a nub tight end. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to play cover six, but we're going to uh, we're making cover six out of this. So we're going to deep half that uh, right side player. We're going to hard flat or soft squat the corner. And then we're going to vertical hook here. And then the beauty of this is now who's the biggest, who's the most important receiver in any trips formation? It's that inside trips receiver where that linebacker's at. So guess what? And this is why 3-3 Cub is so good. A lot of times he's going to get a jam on that, and he'll take that away. As you see right there, uh, he can't really throw. I mean, that's a very difficult throw. And if I click on, that's probably a pick. So there's so much we can do uh, with the cover four quarters as a base. And you can literally just call this right here and you will beat a lot of people. Uh, just a simple vertical hook. You can shade underneath if you want to. Crash your line out for better sheds. And uh, this is a really, really good defense, guys. So utilize the cover four and make adjustments. It's, it's the perfect defense to kind of start out in. Um, and the reason why is because you can make so many adjustments. Um, you can you can literally just man up problems, and and I really do like to do that. So for example, here I'm going to man up that tight end, and we're going to play essentially um, to a degree like a solo, uh, where we're going to have that man up there, and then we're going to have a quarter zone, and then all of the rest of our attention uh, is going to come back over here across to this left side. So we're going to utilize these safeties in man to man coverage to really play a, a nice five over three concept over the left. And then we have a, a two high on the right. These coverage concepts are super effective, uh, like I said, for taking away different types of problems that people are going to create for you defensively. So I love cover four quarters uh, or cover four show two out of three, three cub, which is cover four quarters. Uh, but when you put your zone drops on three or on five on your curl flats, it's going to turn this into essentially a kind of a, uh, a much more adaptive zone coverage that can uh, really do a lot for you in terms of taking away a lot of stuff that people are going to use. So if you guys want to get my entire three, three cup defensive ebook, we go a little bit more depth in the uh, coverages and everything we can do uh, from it. But this defense has uh, a ton of potential and I think is one of the best base defenses in the game. Thanks for watching. Join the Patreon, head down to the description and get all the ebooks and uh, you can click the link down below.